His letters capture the emotion, fear, and determination of a soldier in the heat of the Vietnam War. Fighting in the brutal A. Shaw Valley near Way, Sergeant Steve Flaherty recalls in a letter to his mom, our platoon started off with 35 men, but winded up with 19 men. In another, he vows, nothing seems to go well for us, but we'll take that ridgeline. Sergeant Flaherty's letters were released by the Vietnamese military today as part of a symbolic exchange with Defense Secretary Leon Panetta. Panetta, in turn, handed over the diary of a Vietnamese soldier recovered by a U.S. Marine. But Flaherty's thoughts were a revelation to his grateful relatives in South Carolina, including his sister-in-law, Martha Gibbons. I had no idea what he was going through. And my heart, now 40-something years later, just bleeds for him as to how alone and afraid and scared he was. During the war, the Vietnamese had used the Flaherty letters as propaganda. He had once called the war dirty and cruel. But today, Panetta is using the letters strategically. The U.S. wants stronger military ties with Vietnam, including U.S. access to Cameron Bay, and the exchange of veteran artifacts is part of breaking the ice. It helps to humanize uh, the terrible sacrifice that was made on both sides. And cry trying to create peace between two countries that were at war. I just think it is fantastic. It's been 43 years since he died serving his country, but now in the letters that he wrote but could never send, Sergeant Flaherty serves his country still. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Washington.